So I do have a 3D workflow in DaVinci Resolve. Uh, I'm using the QCam Ego camera that does on the card, yeah, on the card does make a few of those uh, 3D videos. So it's a side by side uh, 3D video. And I'm going to have to extract this side by side thing uh, and make left and right videos for DaVinci Resolve. So a left and a right folder, right? Okay. So let's go in here and do uh, two new folders quick. Um, a left folder for the left footage and then a right folder for the right footage, this L and R. And I want both of those in the same level as the original files. You see here are the original files on this video thing. So I have um, here the original files in there and L and R are empty right now. So I just have to split this up, okay? Um, you can fast forward to this or I have those sections in the video. If you don't want to know this, click on the on the next section of this video. So we go here to Utilities. In Utilities, I have the Terminal app here on the Mac. There's my Terminal app. Let's go back to the content of this SD card. So here is where I need to split and I just need to uh, enter. Yeah, make this a little bigger. I need to enter the FFmpeg string here to uh, split this. So for f is the file name in star.mp4 files. We have here mp4. Um, we will do ffmpeg. That's what it is. Name of the input file is this variable $f. That's the input file name. And then we create uh, the left one first. So um, minus a video filter and the video filter is the crop filter and that equals the size of our video is 1920 by 1080 that's the size of video the camera does and we start at 0 0 in the width and height okay so that's the uh, crop we have and then we need to save this as a file you give it a file name so we are um, making a mistake here because we need to get into this folder first. So let's do this. Let's cut this out. Uh, let's go back here for one second. Sorry about this. Uh, we need to CD, change directory. We want to be in the 01 folder, right? In the folder where our source footage is. Enter. So if I do a list ls, we see those um, five files I have here. Okay, so now I go back to my uh, doing here. Okay, so we are inside the folder here. Yeah. So now we are in here and we want to go one level up, that is dot dot. And then we want to go into the left folder, L, the left folder L here. And then we need to give this thing a file name and we want the same file name as the original. What would be dollar curly brace F percent. So that is that name and uh, parentheses to, you know, to get this one as one piece. Okay, so we have a space here and then we go to the second file. It's also a video filter, and it will be the crop filter that equals 1920 by 1080. But this time, we go 1921 pixels to the right. 1921 pixels to the right, and the y is the uh, zero, the y, because the height is always the same. And we need to give this a name, this file, right? So this will be. Um, one folder up again, it will be the right folder, R, the R folder. And then there we give it uh, the same name as the original. Same name as the original. And uh, we have the file name. And then we are basically done. Oh, my colon, I'm done. And I click enter. And now it basically goes through here. It picks one by one 
And um, now this was by accident the first one, this is the largest here, 354 megabytes. It <clears throat> is taking that video and it's splitting it up in two in the left and right video, and it does this both at the same time. Down here, we can see how it does this. Like it's one frame, one frame slower than what I recorded it. So it's actually recording speed how this computer processes this. But so if this line here goes back and shows my name, then it's done. Um, while it does that, we're going to open uh, DaVinci Resolve. And that's where our real video starts. I'm here in Studio 18. Just a second. So I'm recording the screen and do all of this here. Untitled project. Let's open it. And then I have to make this smaller to get into this screen area. You can see this thing struggling here while I'm recording. Okay, so we can go here in this area. The media folder, the media tab, or whatever you call this, down here is the the tabs, and in the master thing here, I can create a new bin. I can create the left bin for L, and I can create a bin for the right. So I have the left and right bin, and uh, have to wait for our videos to be ready. So you see here, the first video is ready. This one, left and right. That left and right has different sizes is uh, weird to me. That should not happen. But it did, obviously, so we will see what that means. And um, so those two I can uh, grab here quick. Okay, so we have the left folder here, L, and I can grab. So the second one is also done now. See, it started to convert the third one. So let's do the two left ones here. For the sake of this video, I don't wait for it to finish. Change project rate. And then we go here to the right folder, R. And we take also two of them. Plug them in here. Okay. So now it can continue if it wants to. That's fine. Um, we have those two files in here. In L and two files in R. So we can right click on here and say 3D Sync. Stereo 3D Sync. And it wants to use the left I folder. It wants to know where that is. Click in here in our master. Left is L. And the right I folder here is R. Okay. Output folder. We will keep it on the level master level here. Master. And then we can say sync. And so now it has four clips synced. Meaning in our edit, we have now two stereo. Uh, videos. Um, you see this by this little 3D logo. So those are two stereo videos. So let's grab the first one and plug it in here. So this first one is in here now as a stereo video. We only see the left eye here. Now we go to a uh, file. We should have done this first uh, to the project settings and we select how large we want this. So we have a 1920 by 1080, so we don't need a 4K, but you could do 4K and upscale this thing. So we do 1920 by 1080 by 60 frames a second. Save that. Now uh, we have here the Edit tab, tab here, where we can edit if we want the shorter or longer. So this is one minute long, 52 seconds, one minute, right? So Let's shorten this up to shorter, to like 30 seconds, okay? Because just for the heck of this, for this video here, we, we go short, so it doesn't take too long to, uh, to work here. Okay, we can add um, a text to it, the title, right? So let's take this title. This title comes in here, okay? A title, we can change the size. Here the sample text. On the sample as an example. 
that a great example, extra bold and bigger, like this. And then uh, here in settings, we can position this over here to the side there. There. Okay, so we have uh, sound, text. Now, my camera, as you can see here, does not have sound good. I'm going to do uh, normalize my audio levels. But the sound of my camera is really not good. I don't know what the problem is. But okay. Yeah, that noise. Not, not a good sound. But okay. Um, edit. We have a title. We have this. We could do transitions here. Video transitions. All kinds of transitions. You can run this on here if you want to. That's good there. So and then we go here over to the color tab. And in the color tab there are those settings here. And the last one in the row is the 3D setting. And in the 3D setting we go to vision to stereo. Our output is going to be anaglyph color or black and white or whatever you want here. So let's select the black and white for us for the moment. We can go here to, let's say, this scene. Um, we can change now the uh, alignment. Do we have a good spot where we can do this? So here, for example, right? You see here the uh, hole of the umbrella here. There are two, like the red one and the cyan one. Um, we can click here on stereo alignment. Here, yeah. this it will process and align. Or you go in here, conversion, and then you do this to yourself here. Look, I'm going to go over here and I line up the pole. And if you put your glasses on. Then you can see how you like the 3D effect or not. Convergence, that's what this is, right? So if you do click alignment again, it does align, but it changes this quite a little bit. And then you have a very clear, nice 3D impression of the scene, right? Um, so that means this is good for now here. and. Uh, you can go to the spot where we had the, the thing here. This So the title, right? The title is still in zero. So here, this here is the title. Oh, come on here. This piece is the title, right? And it doesn't have any conversions. It's in zero. You can now uh, use the slider here to move the title out or in. But you have to do it not too too much, right? So you... Put your 3D glasses on and then see uh, what fits them, what works for you best. So I have it out quite a bit. 18 now is the thing, right? Okay, so I'm wearing those uh, red green glasses. Okay, so now I have that there. And uh, so then basically your, your video is done here, right? You have your 3D video. And then you would go to the export thing, to the delivery tab, I think it's called. And you give your child a name, so a 3D test on our goof. Okay, so what I haven't found out yet is how to export this in black and white, because you can set this here, but you cannot export like that. But we will see. So I go browse here, and I go to desktop. Okay, and then I say save. So then it saves my video here to desktop. Um, it's in custom because we need this render stereocopic 3D section here that does not happen in some of the others. So in the custom, it does work. Um, our resolution is 9020 by 1080. Uh, on my computer, the H265 does not work. You have different ones yet. So if I go H265, and I render with the render stereocopic 3D, it does not come out as that, so I don't know where the issue is there. So H264 works on my machine, you have to try that. 
when the stereoscopic both eyes and I want anaglyph in my case some want side by side so if you want to try that and um, then I would send it over here to the render queue that's over here and then I say render all so now um, it will go through here and render this 3d video into my desktop and that's where I'm gonna have it and uh, that just takes a second here and let's fast forward this quick so while it does this I'm gonna go look here uh, So this one is done here now, and so I have basically my uh, original videos split up in left and right, all of them, so I can add them here if I wanted to. Okay, so it's done, and uh, you could save your file here if you wanted to. Is it a save button? Here, save project. Then you give it a name, uh, 3D test, save. Okay, and then DaVinci is done for me here. So here is my video. Double click this, and it's like in color, right? I didn't mean for it to be in color, but it is. So I can do this. And we see now that it is a pretty good quality 3D here. Um, you have to set so far enough away for this title, right? So I was looking at the title as it was on the small little tiny uh, screen. Now it's on the bigger screen, um, meaning there's uh, you need to figure out what is the best setting for you here, right? So meaning when when this is small. I don't want to move this like this. Okay, so when it's small and you do this and you stare on it long enough, then the double vision goes away here. But right now that does not look good, right? So if you want to fix that, you go back into your Da Vinci. So this is the problem here, right? There we go into this we are here uh, our conversion 18 is way too much we can tell so let's go down so let's go to um, here you can enter numbers two to five yeah, and then the only thing is you have to render it again you know replace and render and then you wait again until it's done that's just the beauty of it you know, if you make changes, uh, it does not render fast in 3D. That's what I can tell you. Now, in my case, I'm also uh, recording the screen, so that may take uh, a little bit out of it. I hope this video helped you in understanding how this works with DaVinci, the edit of a 3D video. It's never easy in 3D. But let me know in the comments below what you think of this and if that is cool or not. I'm sure there is other programs out there that are better at 3D editing, like um, software that is meant to do this kind of thing. Um, I think DaVinci is not one of those. They, Once it's done the 3D thing, then they do the final render maybe, but um, like really doing great stuff with uh, 3D, I would uh, wish there would be more buttons on here. All right. <clears throat> with that said, I see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.